Hi, I'm Wendy from ShinyHappyWorld.com. All of the skills that I've been teaching you so far are building toward being able to make your own stuffed animals. And one of the things that you're going to have to be able to do to stuff anything is to sew that stuffing opening closed. There's two ways to do that. There's an easy way and there's an invisible way. And today I'm going to teach you the easy way. It's using a whip stitch. So I sewed up a teeny tiny little pillow and stuffed it so that we can work on closing up that opening. The one thing that you'll notice is that I folded in the edges and pressed them so we have a nice folded edge that we're going to be sewing closed. Take your needle, your thread should be knotted. You would normally use a matching color but I'm using a contrasting color here. Go in from the inside and come up on the outside so that the tail of your thread is going to be buried in there with the stuffing. The next thing you're going to do is push that stuffing down, pinch your opening closed, just kind of hold that closed. You'll notice that it kind of looks like a little mouth if I turn it sideways. There's a little top lip and there's a bottom lip. And what you're going to do with whip stitching, it's coming out the top lip right now, so you're going to sew through the bottom lip and then through the top lip and then pull it through. Come back down over the front and you're going to sew bottom lip, top lip, pull it through. Sew through the bottom lip, sew through the top lip, and pull it through. And you'll notice that I'm sewing very close to the edge of those lips. You want to keep, these stitches are going to be visible. Even if you use a matching color, you are going to be able to see these stitches. So you want to make them nice and small and even. I've sewn to the end of where I have my fingers pinched, so I'm going to let go, make sure my stuffing is tucked in, pinch it together just a little further down. You just do a little bit at a time. Go through the bottom lip, the top lip, pull it through. Bottom lip, top lip, and pull it through. And just keep working your way all the way across the opening. It's always a dilemma when you're making a stuffed animal how big you want that opening to be. Because you're going to have to sew the opening closed by hand, so you want to make it small. But you also need to leave the opening big enough so that you can get your fingers in there, or at least get some tools in there, to stuff it effectively. So, you're going to have to strike a balance there. But you'll notice that just while we're talking, this is stitching up pretty quickly. So if you have to err, err on the side of giving yourself just a little bit more room for stuffing because it's really not that much of a chore to stitch it closed. So we're just working our way down. And uh, when I work with kids a lot of times, I'll tell them, say it to yourself while you're doing it. Bottom lip, top lip, pull it through. Bottom lip, top lip, pull it through. And that'll just help you remember what order you're doing this in. You don't want to start going backwards or doing sideways stitches. Just keep it nice and consistent. And I'm using a contrasting thread here. So the stitches are very visible and they still don't look bad I think because they're nice and even and small. So that's what you're shooting for. You want your stitches to all be small and you want them to all be about the same length apart. I'm almost done with this. Then I'm going to show you how to tie it off in a knot. So, bottom lip, top lip, pull it through. Bottom lip, top lip, pull it through. Just a couple more stitches. And let's do one more. So I've got that all stitched closed. And now the last stitch that I take, I'm going to take one more here. And I'm going to leave myself a loop there, and I'm going to put my needle through the loop twice. I'm going to pull it tight. Now I'm going to do one more knot right next to that one. I'm not even going to go a stitch length away. I'm really going to go right on top of that. Through just like the other ones, bottom lip to top lip. Leave myself a little loop, and I'm going to go through that loop. Two times, pull it 
pull it nice and tight. And then I am not going to cut my tail off right there because that knot will come untied if you cut too closely. I'm going to poke my needle in right next to it and I'm going to come out any place else on the little pillow. And then I'll pull that and cut it and the tail of the thread will be buried in the pillow. So that's how you sew a whip stitch, the easy way to sew up an opening for stuffing. In a couple of weeks, I'm going to show you the invisible way. I'm Wendy from shinyhappyworld.com. See you next time.